Hi guys, Ryan here from Coffee Beans Delivered and today I want you to share this video with anyone who owns a cafe or is thinking about starting a cafe and they want to up the game of their coffee production. I'm just about to upgrade this machine to a larger one and I thought it might be time to do a tutorial and instructional video on Lamazocco's Linear PB. So a little bit of history on the PB. So Lamazocco, the manufacturers, have been long considered to be one of the best manufacturers of high quality specialty coffee machines. And they've done a whole lot of innovation. And even though now they are getting a lot more competitors in the marketplace, they are still putting out some amazing machines like the KB90 and some undercounter machines as well. PB stands for Piero Bambi who was the master craftsman, engineer, and designer for many, many years at La Mazzocco. And it was founded by his father and uncle in Florence, Italy in 1927. Sadly, Piero Bambi died just recently on March 24th, 2020. And he was greatly mourned by the specialty coffee community. Piero actually designed the predecessor to this machine called the Linear Classic, which was revolutionary at the time because unlike all the other machines, it was the first one to have two boilers, one for the steam and one for the group head, which means that you get precise temperatures exactly at the right point of contact with the coffee and endless amounts of steam. Now, the PB is very similar in design, but they've upgraded a few features and they've made it sleek enough and modernized it. So let's take a look at the features. One of the reasons I got the PB is because it's a workhorse. It isn't the flashiest of the high-end machines that you can get, but it certainly still looks sleek and designer, and it goes and it goes and it goes. I think we've done probably close to 500,000 shots on this machine now, and we've never had a single problem. It has all of the standard functions like programmable buttons and a manual override button, but it also gives you the ability to go behind and under the hood and access some of the barista tools, which I don't recommend you do unless you know exactly what you're doing because you can really stuff it up for everyone. But it's so easy and quick to access the menu. You just simply hold down the buttons like so, and then you're in. So once you're in, you can set an entire range of different functions, like the pre-wet, which is pre-infusion. You can change the dose, the volume, the timer. You can change the name of the machine, which is great if you've got multiple sites and you wanna know exactly which machine is getting service from which site. And then one of my favorite functions is the timer. And that sort of turns it on at whatever time you set it to, so that it's, by the time you walk in the door, it's ready and warm and ready to go. Which is great because back in the day, I used to remember we have to manually turn on the machines and wait half an hour for the machine to warm up, which was really bad if you slept in and you got there and the customers were all in line and then you made them wait a half hour to get their coffee. Needless to say, I only did that once. The brilliant part about being a dual boiler machine is that you've got one separate boiler for the steam and one separate boiler for the group heads. So that means you don't have to flush what they call temperature surf and flush the boiling water out of the group heads if it's been sitting idle for a while like you do on a lot of the older machines. You have perfect temperature at the click of a button when you want it all the time and endless amounts of steam. And because the steam boiler is also attached to your tea brewer, you can actually set the temperature of your tea or your long black water a lot lower. So you can have perfect temperature water for your coffee in your long blacks or your tea and it doesn't burn people's faces off. So you can actually set the volume of water extracted out of that shot. By pressing the swirl button here, you can hold it down until you enter the dose settings. Then you can enter whatever timer you like. So we know that we want to do 27 second pause and we want to get two to one extraction, which is two of the volume out of the one set of grinds. And we just hold it down until we run that amount of volume through the machine in 27 seconds and then cut it off there. Now that's stored in that button. And then if we want it, we can copy that and put it over on the other group head so that they're equal. Of course, the machine is not perfect. There's a couple of areas that could be improved. One of the biggest ones for us is the inability to handle large volumes of coffee through it. 
So when you're doing six to 10 kilos, it will manage just, but once you get to that 10 kilo mark a day, then you're gonna start seeing the steam pressure drop and you're gonna have to wait for half a minute while it picks itself back up again and then you can keep going. That's why we're upgrading to a larger three group machine because then you can handle up to 30 kilos. But if you prefer, you can actually get two of the machines side by side and then that'll cover you and it will balance out all of the drops in pressure. The handles are ergonomically designed, great for comfort and getting in and out of the group head. But there is one ergonomic design that I think needs to be addressed and that is the distance between the group head and the base of the tray. Sometimes you're just in a rush and there's just not enough room to get your cups in there. And the other thing that I think is important to point out is how low to the bench the feet sit and they don't adjust. So we had to actually put some timber props up underneath for our taller baristas because they were developing sore backs. But hey, I'm getting nitpicky now and if that's the only problems that I have with the machine, that just goes to show you how great it really is. And the resale value is amazing. So even when you want to upgrade to a three group, or a four group machine, you're gonna be able to sell this machine for almost around the price that you bought it for, which is just fantastic in terms of return on investment. So if you're a cafe owner, or you're just starting out, or you want to lift your coffee game to that next level, then you can't go past Lamazoko's Linear PB. It's just one of the classic, classic workhorses. I'm in no way sponsored by Lamazoko. These are my opinions, my thoughts only. No one's paid me to talk about them. And as always, I'm Ryan from Coffee Beans Delivered. Enjoy your brews.